Hi folks, welcome to Once Driven Forever Smitten. Got the oil leak sorted in the Saab last episode with this one. This time out, we're going to be giving it a good polish and a clean up because it's going to the Mulgai Car Show, which is um, tomorrow. It's Friday at the moment, and so I've been busy on it. So let's get into it. All right, well, now that the Saab is no longer pouring oil out of it, we can now wash it because, well, not just wash it, polish it and cut it back. You can see the espresso brown sort of coloration in it there in the sun but i'm going to leave it up in the jacks because it's all muddy in the wheel arches and get in there better see the back end of it's absolutely filthy from the cannon bars run so we will snow foam it um and then let it soak in and then jet wash it and then maybe hit it with a sponge as well i don't know Well, that's it, I had a good wash, which has improved things markedly, but, you know, it's definitely in need of a polish as well, so. What I can do now is, um, probably put this wheel on it, drop it back in the ground, and then we'll hit it with some Evo 1 cutting polish. Um, or maybe I might use some of that chrome pressure sensitive stuff, see how it does. Um, and then some more polish on top, see how we get on with it. Right, got the pad nice and wet, so... Well, that's me done most of it with a chrome pressure sensitive to cutting polish I really like the way that stuff's gone on and come off and uh, seems to have taken the swirls out the paint there and it doesn't leave any residue or anything it just comes off so easily so obviously we need to get some polish on it now I've still got the roof to do but it is kind of warm now it is hot today I'm not sure I want to machine polish the roof so I might just do that by hand for now Just in case, I don't want to burn the paint if it's already hot. Oh, you see, look at the brown tinge in that. Hey. Aha, good news. Just found the clay bar kit. Wait. Hey. It was in a bag at the bottom of the airing cupboard. A nice bit of fresh clay. and do some clay barring on the Saab. Right. These lower panels feel rougher because they've got tar on them and look more dirt and contamination coming off of that the upper panels aren't too bad And the paint on this is better than I expected. That's off the driver's side door, and you can see there's pretty light contamination in it. Not too bad at all, really. It's uh, coming up nicely. And I'm like dragging it along the door, there's not a lot of noise or 
you know. When you run out the clay along it, you can kind of hear and feel the bumps, it gets a bit gritty. Not really encountered a lot of that. No major tar spots down it. I wonder if somebody's given it a valet. I remember so it's slid a bit over the last year or so. But I can't help but think somebody must have given it some attention at some point. So not a lot coming out of that. I'm not doing the roof or the bonnet just now because they're in direct sunlight and they are very hot. And do them later on. Yeah, bits coming out of it. I will wipe the rest of this off and then give it a bit of a hand polish down the sides. I'm pretty impressed with the paintwork on this. It's come up better than I thought it would. I've not even put the polish on it yet. What I've got is some Zephyr Z Cream Cherry Wax. We'll give some of this a go. I don't have that much of it, but should be able to do the car at least once. Somebody donated this to me in Ireland a few years ago, so see what it does. I shall just put it on by hand and we will see what happens. Because this stuff is supposed to be really good, it's American I think. Does go on nice like. Well, this stuff seems to be going on really nice. And it's like the paint just seems to be absorbing it. Maybe been over it like twice now. Right, let's see how it comes off. Of course, if it doesn't come off, that's when you know you've got, oh, but it is coming off. That's when you know you've got problems. This is coming. Oh, wow. There's not even any residue with this stuff. Ooh. This looks good. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, that's the nicest polish to remove I've ever had. It just just, just vanishes about one way. look once we're right the way down the car. Holy crap look at that! Can you see the reflection in that? In the camera? I hope you can. That's the easiest polish to come off I've ever used. What a great finish. Yeah okay, that's, that's impressive. We're joking, that's like a mirror down the side of it now. I'm going to do the tailgate next and then move to the other side. It just wipes straight off. Amazing. There we go. The reflection in that is like glass. Fantastic. 
and I didn't clay bar the boot first either. It didn't get machine polished. So even at that, what a result. Right, on to the cool side of the car. Right, don't know if you can see there too well, but it just comes off so easy. Barely work at all, and the finish of my reflection is like so clear in this. I'm a convert, I need to go and get like a full bottle of this stuff. I think it's American, Zephyr Cherry. Come on up, mint! I didn't clay bar the bonnet, but I did machine polish it with a cutting polish first. I was a little concerned about putting the polish on because the paintwork is quite hot. But when I saw it was coming up on the rest of it, I thought, I'll just give it. I'm now just hitting the heels with a bit of G101 because the pressure washer wasn't removing all the crud that was on them. Okay, so final touches. Some trim gel for the tyres and down the rubbing strips to work well on these, better than on the Cavalier anyway, although these are much less faded. Right, so that's us done with the Saab for now. Delighted with the results of this Zephyr polish stuff, definitely going to get more of that, but good shout to the Chrome No Reflection Pressure Sensitive Cutting Polish, which seemed to do a good job as well. Delighted I've now got a nice shiny car, next step, get that subframe sorted out, get the new bushes into it, get the bolt sorted. Catch you next time. Cheers. Hello Bob, are you staying cool underneath the Omega? A good vantage point. <laughs>